Hey guys, I just wanted to let you know that I am a little bit sick at the time of recording this video, but I wanted to push this out to you guys as quickly as possible, so don't mind my voice and uh, enjoy the video, guys. Yo, welcome back everyone. We're here today and diving deep into the hot topic that's reshaping the Call of Duty Black Ops 3 Zombies community, custom maps, and the RK5 pistol. Is it a game changer or a game breaker? With the freedom these maps offer, <laughs> The stakes are high, so let's explore how the Burst Fire Pistol is rewriting the rules. For those of you who don't know, the RK5 is a formidable Burst Fire Pistol, and it becomes yours from the start of each and every game after completing the Super Easter Egg, a reward that's simple but very impactful. Sounds great, right? On consoles like PS4 and Xbox, that's where the story ends. But on PC, we are open to the world of custom maps. And these maps are crafted by developers who are not bound by the original game's rules and are allowed to do as they please. Depending on what map you play, the gameplay could be altered dramatically, offering new challenges that can test even the most skilled players. Here's where the RK5 can really make a difference. I did some online interviews with a few custom map developers. Here are some quotes. We try to balance our maps based on player feedback and our vision for the game. 2. Including the RK5 as a starting weapon can sometimes disrupt the map's intended playstyle. So the question that I have is, if a player mods the RK5 into the game where it's not intended to be, is that fair play or foul? It's a grey area that sparked some debate in the Call of Duty community. Now let me break down why the RK5 is such a game changer starting with cost efficiency. In zombies every point counts. Starting with a burst pistol like the RK5 instead of a weaker pistol means saving early game points for other essentials. This strategic advantage lets you invest in doors and perks straight away which can be crucial for surviving tough custom maps. A second reason is advanced movement. Advanced players have discovered that weapon swapping can speed up movement. This technique, mastered by players like J-Dubs, involves quickly switching weapons to cancel certain animations, allowing for faster, more consistent sliding. With the RK5 from the start, you're equipped to exploit these mechanics, enhancing both speed and agility during runs. Another unexpected advantage is the ammo glitch. On some maps, spawning with the RK5 also fills your other starting weapon with ammo, a bonus in the chaotic early rounds. These three reasons should show you how the RK5 isn't just another starting weapon. It's a tactical asset that reshapes strategies from the moment that you spawn in the map. While the RK5 brings undeniable advantages, it also challenges the norms of speedrunning. Its efficiency and power allow players to explore new routes, potentially discovering faster routes through older maps. This innovation can invigorate the scene, enticing both new and veteran players to rethink traditional routes. But enough looking at the advantages of the RK5, let's see some downsides. Established records might be easily surpassed, promoting record holders to revisit their strategies. The integration of the RK5 through mods brings its own set of challenges as well. Since it's not an intended feature on all maps, its presence can sometimes cause unexpected issues, and there's no simple rollback option once modded into the game. If voted against, many custom map submissions that are already approved to the boards will be voided causing some issues and re-reviewing of old gameplay. Now let's consider a real-time example, Mystify's impressive run on Leviathan. Mystify modded his game to start with the RK5, drastically cutting down his competition's time. It's a perfect illustration of the RK5's potential impact, but it also highlights the inconsistency and confusion about its allowance on some custom maps but not others. As the community stands at a crossroads, the upcoming decision on whether to universally allow the RK5 will have profound implications. Should such transformative records stand, or do we reset the standards to ensure fairness? Now this isn't just about records. 
It's about the integrity of the game and our community ethos. What do you guys think? Should we embrace the RK5's potential? Or should we preserve the original game dynamics of these custom maps? Please share your thoughts below. We'll discuss the results in a future video. Thank you all for joining us in today's discussion. If you enjoyed this deep dive, don't forget to like, subscribe, and hit the notification bell for more. Until next time, keep gaming, keep thinking, and I'll see you in my next video.